Good morning and welcome to the business models of tech companies. Today we're looking at Tencent. I'm Dennis Oakley and I make business models. So looking at the screen, so Tencent's a business model. Basically, it goes out and looks at consumers in the mass market. Um, it provides a platform for them to connect with friends and off the platform it offers hundreds of one-stop services so with many western technology products like whatsapp or facebook you go to different places for different things tencent puts them all in one big platform and it, what is absolutely brilliant about it is that there is loads of personalization so for example when you go to facebook everyone's home page looks the same tencent allows you to do far much more personalization to express your own identity, your own personal brand, and that brings people in in the millions. Um, it also offers tiers of, of membership, so the more you pay, the more the more you get. And there are loads of value-added services to, to make the games better. And this matches up the consumers with advertisers because what the Tencent platform has is it has millions hundreds of millions of people using it and that is an absolutely wonderful target for advertisers however what's really interesting is unlike being unlike western social media platforms that are very much advertising driven where they mine your your data and then sell that data to advertisers to allow very precise targeting what tencent does is it monetizes so there are lots of tiny little microtransactions want, want a a new filter on your photo want a new avatar you pay a couple of cents and when you have hundreds of millions of people doing microtransactions the amount adds up pretty pretty quickly and Tencent has been very re uh, revenue positive for a, a long time so um, customer relationships like most mass market platform it's all a uh, mass market services it's a self-service platform you don't talk to anybody from 10 cents you just go in there and uh work work uh, work with them uh, the the channels uh, very much they've got the web and the mobile channels that is how everybody goes in and interacts with them because they have got so much market presence and dominance now often the the key channels are the engage uh, re-engagement and customer retention how do we keep our customers coming back for more rather than acquiring customers because there is no no great room given that you've got most of a billion people online in china and most of those people are already on 10 cent or one of its competitors so it's keeping them coming coming back how do they how do they do this oh first of all there is the implicit guarantee and support of the chinese government this is never overtly said but last month um august i think it was august 2018 chinese government said one of the 10 cents games couldn't be put up on the platform just too gory whatever reason next day seven percent was wiped off 10 cents market value so it's absolutely critical for them to keep the government on side and being providing stuff that the, the the communist party approves of this is absolutely critical and i should probably also put game developers here because whilst tencent does a vast amount in-house it also buys in games and and other um web co uh, creative content from from other parties but what is fascinating 50 percent of Tencent staff are research and development. This is an absolutely massive amount. So where their real competitive advantage is, is that they believe that they are able to create better and more and faster content that will keep their audience engaged better than anybody else. So for example, a typical media company in, in the West, whether it's the BBC, um, not CNN, uh, HBO, they are distributing content but they don't make that much of it themselves netflix yeah even now it's uh that it's spending four billion a year on content creation it still buys a vast amount of content from other people but 50 percent of its staff being r d that's almost unprecedented in in most uh companies in in the western world um 
This means that it's got a vast amount of IP in the form of patents, way to do things, way to do things that are particular to the, the Chinese market, which acts as a big block on Western companies going in there. And from its, its very early days, it's put a lot into corporate social responsibility, uh, helping uh, underprivileged communities out. Again, this is uh, an effective strategy to, to keep the Chinese government on board to show that it is doing good as much as it entertains because Chinese uh, state is very Puritan in some ways. There, there is still the, the background of the, 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 the Cultural Revolution and the 10-year the plans of we need to, to make the country great and that means factories, infrastructure, not frivolous things like computer games and skins on your avatars. So the CSR is a key resource there. Then the key activities are the, the product development, coming up with new products on, to go into the market. But there's no point doing the, the, the product development unless they've got absolutely wonderful market segmentation and analysis. Who wants what? Who's going to buy what? What is going to take a particular group and get another 10% revenue out of them? And this is the have an absolutely brilliant team there making sure that this happens so that the revenue rises and this and it's, it's very obvious that this is something that the western companies have, have failed to do in, in in exactly the same way because there they've been interested in finding out what people like so that they can sell that knowledge to advertisers here in tencent they're figuring out what people like and want so that they can sell them things themselves and obviously there's a lot more opportunity for, for margin and, and profit if they can get that right and finally the cost structure you of course you've got the, the platform costs etc but the big chunk of the cost structure is the research and development and one day when Tencent says okay we don't see much room for work uh, for growth the the market is played out they they have the ability they slash the the R&D staff they slash the R&D and suddenly Tencent will become a very very profitable cash cow as it comes into maturity and then goes into into decline and that is a great amount of residual value so this is the Tencent uh, business model canvas my name is Dennis Oakley I create business models Subscribe to this channel for, for more good stuff on tech companies or head over to dennis-oakley.com to find more about how I can help you build your business model and transform your company or startup.